change. Not that kind of change. I mean like money. This episode is about coins, pennies, dimes, quarters, nickels, 50 cent pieces, dollar pieces, two cent pieces, whatever change I can find. I sense, I have more sense around the couch. Two more pennies. I found a, a gold coin. A dollar. Dollar. Ooh. Ooh. I found some old cereal. I'll just leave that there. Ooh. I found some more change. Ooh. I found a dollar and some pennies and some dimes. And one lonely nickel. I don't think I could buy a whole lot with this. Maybe like a candy bar? I want to find more money. Cash. I think if I look around my house more, I will find more cash. Let's go take a look. Sorry, Mr. D. Sorry, Mr. D. Mr. D. Sorry, Mr. D. My kid has any change. Oh, look, here's his piggy bank. They say that you should save 20%. He's pretty good about saving money. I'll leave his money alone. He probably has more than me now anyway. All right, let's see how much money I got. I've got a lot of money here. Some of this is not real. Let's see if I'm a millionaire. Probably not. Dollar fifty, two dollars, ten cents. So two dollars plus ten cents, and then I found five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-nine. Twenty-nine cents. So this is thirty-nine cents plus twenty-five plus twenty-nine plus twenty-five plus twenty-five plus twenty-five plus twenty-five plus I found two dollars and 39 cents. I'm not quite a millionaire. I need to save 20% of my money. So if I have two dollars, 20%, so 20% is 20 cents of every dollar. I have two dollars right here. So I need to take away 40 cents to save plus another I'm just gonna put another nickel in, just to round up and call it even. Seeing all these coins is really inspiring me to put myself on a coin. Let's go make a coin. Hey, check out these super cool paper quarters that I have. They're giant. This is actually an image of the reverse side. Every quarter had a different image that represented a different state in the United States. This is Kentucky, Illinois, North Dakota, Theodore Roosevelt on it. Um, there's a park named after him. He was a president. Um, he was a very notable figure in North Dakota's history. So a lot of the figures that are on these quarters have areas or people that are very well known in the state's history. Now we're going to make our own coin. This is what you need. You need some cardboard. You need something round to trace. You need a pencil and Sharpies. First, I'm going to trace a circle onto my cardboard. When you're cutting out the cardboard, cut off little pieces at a time and use the inside of the scissors. I think I'm special enough to be on a coin, right? Well, maybe not as special as uh, Susan B. Anthony, Sakakawea, or Eisenhower, or Lady Liberty. <laughs> All right, so to draw myself, I'm first going to draw my head of my bust. So I draw an oval. Everyone 
one needs a neck, and a little bit of my shoulders. I need a shirt. Now I'm going to draw my side profile. So this is me looking to the side. I need a chin. So I kind of make this kind of squarish. Then I add on my nose, which is a triangle. Then I need an eye. It's the sideways look of an eye, the profile view. Kind of looks like that. It's a little bit like a triangle. Little tiny half circle here. Then I need an eyebrow. Needs to be thicker eyebrow. Kind of draw over that. Now I need to erase these lines. And I need an ear. The ear kind of lines up with the eye, it would be about here. And I need an earring, of course. Adjust my forehead a little bit. I want it to go up a little bit more. There we go. See how this has little lines? I could put something in my hair too. This is wheat. This says liberty. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Now I need to add on a date. I could put on the current year, put on my birth year. 1986. Why not? Then I'm going to put on the word liberty. So, liberty. The E is in the middle of the word. So, I'm going to start with the E up here. And then R, T, Y. And then I need to put on L, I, B. But I'm going to put it on backwards. B, I, L. Now it is centered. That looks nice. Let's see, what else is on coins? I like how there's stars on here. I could think of some other symbol that means something to me. Oh, I should put like an emoticon or something. Let's be modern here. Here's my coin. And the back. The back, I could draw an eagle on it. A lot of our coins have eagles on the back. Eagle, eagle, eagle! This eagle, it's, it's easy to break down into different pieces. All right, so let's draw an eagle. First, I have the body. So I'm going to draw kind of a shape like this. Then my eagle needs a neck. The neck looks like this in the head. We need a good strong beak. Legs. I think I'll make it similar to that Morgan dollar. It's like holding on to something. Holding. I'll have it hold a pencil. He's holding a pencil. Why not? Yeah, I'm going to make this a paintbrush too. I'm going to add some feathers to the head. Little tiny V's. Now for the wings. They need to be strong. Strong wings of the eagle. Which in a way is our mascot in America. Now I'm going to add each little tiny feather, every eagle feather, a few more feathers on the body. I'm just drawing an eagle because I wanted to try drawing an eagle. I think my eagle looks pretty great. On the back of the Lincoln penny is the Lincoln Memorial. You can draw on a building if you want to. You could draw a house on the back of yours. Now to add on states. 
of America and United. United States of America. Now, because this is a penny of me, I'm going to add a paint palette on the bottom. Ha ha, snuck that in there. Now for a Sharpie outline to make the lines look bold. Really brings out the details and adds a good amount of contrast to my one cent penny with President Megan D. <laughs> circle that is slightly larger than the penny. Bonus! Let's make a quarter. Then I'm going to wrap my cardboard in aluminum foil to make it look shiny like a quarter. I'm going to carefully wrap this aluminum foil around the quarter. I'm not just going to crumple it. I'm going to smooth down each part. coins that I have. This one is from 1909. This is the first year that they made the wheat penny. They call it a wheat penny because it has little wheat on the back. A penny during World War II. This was made from steel. The back is still has the wheat symbol on the back. I just kind of started collecting them when I was younger. Um, my mom had some cool coins. And um, I got some coins from my grandma. I got some coins from my dad. My dad had the Buffalo nickel collection and the penny collection. Here's a nickel from 1912. It has Lady Liberty on the front. On the back it says United States of America and the V means five. Here's a nickel from 1925. And this has Chief Iron Tail on the back. It is known for having the buffalo. Here's a dime from 1964. This one is solid silver or mercury dime. And that one is from 1936. Very similar designs on the back. Maybe just a little bit modernized with the staff. That was really special that I got to show you my coin collection. Go find some really cool coins that you have and let's make a rubbing. For this project, you need some paper, copy paper works best, some coins. I would try to find some larger coins to start with till you get the hang of it. Here's a quarter. This is a Morgan dollar. Here's an Eisenhower dollar. So you put the coin under your paper and then you gently rub with a crayon on top. And that's all you do. Here's the reverse of the coin. has the eagle on the back. So just color on top of it. You don't want to color too hard. 
you'll find a good pressure. About in the middle is a good consistency. Here's the Dwight Eisenhower dollar. There's the reverse. Uh, mm, I don't think that one's gonna work. <laughs> the Kennedy dollar. There's a quarter. That is a Benjamin Franklin. And on the back is the Liberty Bell. coins to feature the Liberty Bell on the back. The coin is solid silver and it is tarnished. That's why it looks brown. All right, I'm going to finish up my project. I hope you found some really cool coins to make a rubbing with. Hi. Do you want to play a game with me? Yeah. Do you want to do you want to play this like penny game? Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. I have some pennies for you. Oh. Yeah. You're rich. Oh yeah. My allowance. Why, yeah. Why don't you sit down? To play this game, you need some coins. I would recommend having pennies. You also need probably another person to play with. You need to stack pennies. If I put down four pennies, then the other opponent needs to put down four pennies. If they can successfully do that, then they get to stack pennies and I have to match how many they put. Now, if the stack starts to get kind of wonky, you cannot go back and fix it. You have to just leave it how it is and try to kind of balance out the stack so it doesn't tip over. Whoever knocks it over loses, and then the other person gets to keep the pennies. Okay, you ready, Mr. D? Ready. Whoever has the oldest penny that they randomly pick gets to go first. 1993. 2018. I get to go first. I'm going to put down three pennies. Mr. D. Puts on three. He was successful with that stack, so now he gets to count how many he wants to put and then put that on. Five. Five. Holy cow. That's a much turn. Wait, my turn. Oh. Okay, now it's my turn because I successfully stacked those five on there. I'm going to put seven. Okay, good job, now it's your turn. Okay. Five. Five smackaroonies. So now I'm gonna do eight. Eight! Oh! What am I going to do with all my winnings? Oh boy. I want to show you something really cool. When I was in elementary school, one of my teachers showed us this in class. And I remember thinking that it was like the coolest thing ever. So you need, you really need a clear glass bowl so you can see what's happening. 
So I am going to be slowly putting in one penny at a time. And as the pennies slip into the dish, it is going to slowly push the water up. Now you might think, how many coins can she fit in there? Well, hmm. So as you can see, the top of the dish is starting to bubble. That is called surface tension. And water has a slightly negative charge, so it wants to sort of stick together. If you carefully sneak in the pennies, you will see the surface tension. Oh, how many pennies? Oh, look at that. Oh, 67 pennies safely put into that container. The 68th penny broke the surface tension. Whoa! Boy, we did so many fun things together. We drew ourselves on a coin. We found a bunch of coins around our house. Sorry, Mr. D. We did a coin rubbing. Oh, and I forgot to show you, I've been wearing this necklace. It is actually a British pen, and this is made from bronze. Look at the cool coloring on it. And it has Queen Elizabeth II on it. Isn't it so cool? It's one of my favorites. Well guys, we had such a fun day together. I can't wait to spend more time with you next week. All right, see you later. Bye.